Hello everyone, this is Walter Fate, and I'm back to bring you more Reddit content. This week is already going much better than last week was, so it should be no problem bringing you a few weekday videos this time. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at some true stories from Reddit that happened. This is a place for people to post stories they see online that are definitely true. So let's not question any of these, okay? With that warning out of the way, let's get into it with more true stories from Reddit that happened. This one's topical, I guess. I just got a text from my library that Anthony Bourdain's book Kitchen Confidential was available for me to pick up per my request. I didn't request it. I have no idea how this happened. What the fuck, why did you choose me, Mr. Bourdain? I was gonna cancel it, but I'm not gonna piss him off. Right, I don't really have an explanation, but if it was me, I probably requested it when I was drunk or something. Need a laugh? Then take a sec to read on. While at work, we had a few DeWitt investigators stop by. One was smoking hot, so I say to my boss, Man, he can frisk me any day. About ten minutes later, they both come back inside. The investigator says to me, Up against the wall, ma'am. I reply, How far should I spread them? Then say, Oh, I love a nice pair of cuffs. His face turned instantly red and was speechless. We all laughed so damn hard. We all laughed so damn hard. I mean, I have a middle schooler's sense of humor too, so I can't say too much. Let's read on. Today, the 12-year-old I nanny had his first kiss. Won it on a bet. The bet was, I'll pretend to be dead in the water, and I bet my nanny saves me and does CPR before the lifeguards do. I was played, but honestly, I'm just really proud. They grow up so fast. You know, I've taken a few CPR classes in my lifetime. The breaths are less important than the chest compressions, right? And those things break ribs if you're doing it right. Well, anyway, this is stupid, probably in a lot of ways. Is it not common to give up your seat on a flight? Because I did it so a mother and child could sit together and people started applauding and I got a free drink. Wow, somebody get this person a Nobel Prize, stat. I don't know, maybe they would give you a free drink, but don't fucking tell me people applauded. People on a plane definitely don't care about you that much. I just got out of a speeding ticket because I told the cop how I have 14 chem homework problems due at 11.59 and how I already failed this course once and he cut me off and told me, to just go. You don't need this right now. Thank you, Jerry. You a real one. Uh, officer, I only made one YouTube video last week, so I'm rushing home to make videos right now. People love hearing college kids complain, by the way. Once on my way back home from work, I was waiting on a light a couple of blocks down from my house. There was this homeless guy asking for money, so I gave him a dollar. He noticed my car smelled like weed, so he asked if I smoked. I said yes, and immediately he ran to his back and gave me like three grams of weed. He told me, God bless me with your dollar, now you'll get blessed with this weed. Until now, that have been one of the best weeds I have smoked. Alright, now this one is some dumb shit. Someone is literally out on the corner begging for money. So of course when someone gives him a dollar, he decides to bless them with something worth a lot more than a dollar. Hard to call it begging at that point. Also, people are saying you could sell three grams for 50 or 60 dollars. I gotta say, it is a lot cheaper than that here since they legalized it. Today at the bookstore, I asked the lady working if she had any LGBTQ books that I could check out. And her eyes magnified and what I mistook as horror and I thought I had offended her and then she said, I have a bag of lesbian fiction in the basement I've been waiting for someone to finally ask and she all but burst down the stairs to get them for me. I don't even know why someone would make a pointless story like this up. Okay, so today in chemistry, this kid Roman was walking across the room to get something, and he tripped, and this one girl immediately shouts, The Empire has fallen, and I cried. Yeah, this sounds more like something the author came up with, but is too scared to put into practice because nobody would actually know what they were talking about. This next brilliant post is from Reddit Drugs. Update, I shot up THC. Well, it worked and I didn't die, lol. I took some 95% THC distillate and mixed it with like 10 units of isopropyl alcohol, 20 units of water, and like 40 units of PG. Definitely worked, lol. Felt an intense stony rush and it was pretty awesome, but didn't phase me that much since I bl smoked blunts like cigarettes. 8 out of 10, would shoot again. So, in one of my classes, we were making mood boards. 
Just pieces of paper with magazine cutouts that represent us pasted all over them. And this guy I've never talked to leans over and he's like, You're gay, right? And I'm like, sort of? And he silently handed me a cutout of Ellen DeGeneres and went back to his work. Okay. Mood boards. Glad I don't have to do stupid shit like that anymore as an adult. LOL, I'm at the Wax Museum and I was sitting, looking down at my phone and I start seeing flashes and hearing this couple talk in front of me. So when I look up, they both scream slash jump and say, Oh gee, we're so sorry, we thought you were made of wax. LMAO, SMH, like how? I want to say they're ripping off South Park, but probably every cartoon that's ever taken place in a wax museum has used this gag. That doesn't have to mean it's happened in real life though. One time in college, I was walking down the road with a water bottle full of brunettes. A cop stopped and asked what it was. I said water. He said chug it. I straight faced chugged it. He drove off and I started screaming and crying, LMAO. Well, I have never once had a cop question what's in my water bottle. But I think if they did, they'd probably smell it rather than asking me to chug it. Incomprehensible situation here. Uh, I think it's like Pride Month, so let's celebrate with a true story from a Pride Parade. So my cousin was in a gay Pride Parade, and everything in her outfit and makeup was rainbow, but she was wearing red contacts, and while marching, a protester behind her yelled, You're going straight to hell. And she turns around to face him with her fucking blood red eyes, and she says, Well, duh, I got a kingdom to run. And the protester nearly fucking passed out. That is her legacy. I want to be like her. That's her legacy? Well, riveting. Do people actually go out to a pride parade and put up with having to see all the things they hate just so they can yell at people that they're going to hell? I don't know, maybe they do. Sounds like a waste of time though. Also, I don't think anyone is enough of a coward to be scared by this. I just don't believe it. Here's a Pokemon related story. Those are always stupid. When I was five years old, an older girl that was 11 tried to tell me that Ash Ketchum's name was actually Ash Ketchup. I kept telling her that it wasn't, and she got offended and tried to hit me and had her two brothers jump in on it. I picked up a stick and beat all three of them, and then they went to tell my mom, and my mom laughed, saying they shouldn't have messed with me anyway. Homegirl was five and beat three older people with a stick over Pokemon. Here I am at 19 and would probably do it again. You're going to have problems here because I have trouble believing three older people would jump a five-year-old in the first place, let alone the rest of this bullshit. Moving on. Friendly reminder that yesterday when my mom took me to Walmart, she left me alone in the toilet paper section and this guy started hitting on me and I said, sorry, I'm a lesbian. And he was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I thought you were a boy. Soda just spewed out my nose. That was a plot twist. Soda spewed out my nose. Yeah, real fucking knee slapper there. It wouldn't even be funny if it did happen. Well, who's up for a woke kid? My son, 10, wasn't sure who to support in this one. Who's got the better human rights record, Dad? Hashtag woke cup. Ugh. I accidentally got in fake taxi. Hey, so this just happened and I am at a loss for words. Turns out I stumbled into fake taxi was with my friend and we needed a cab back to my place and got in not even noticing until about 10 minutes in. Seeing as I now have first-hand experience, ask me anything about it. Any of those questions you always wanted to know. For the uninitiated, Fake Taxi is a porn series where a taxi driver gets passengers to have sex with him, and it's obviously set up as they all probably are. Like, he extorts women on camera all the time, and I doubt anyone would be dumb enough to record and sell that shit if it was real. My mom saw me taking pictures of my hand, and she was like, What are you doing? Is this how lesbians work? Is this like a dick pic? I don't quite get this one thing. Lesbians in these posts on the internet seem to think that everyone else is ridiculously confused by them. Is it really complicated or something? Let's just read a few more and then finish this, so I'm not uploading all night. A while back, I found the most satisfying use ever of my legendary resting bitch face. Behold! Dude, so, hey, that guy over there, boyfriend or husband? Me, client. I'm his bodyguard. My friends, this guy backed off so fast. 
If that's true, he might not have been scared, really. Just, you know, it's dumb to hit on someone like that while they're working. My sister used to work at Pizza Hut. One of the customers she always served tried getting free pizzas by saying it wasn't cooked enough. So my sister had to put it in the oven roller for longer. So another day, the same customer came in and said the pizza she ordered wasn't cooked enough like usual. My sister's boss tells her, burn the pizza! And so she put it in the oven like three times longer than she should have on purpose. So then my sister goes up to the customer and opens the box and it's basically just charcoal. I can't stop laughing over this story. So this person constantly keeps going into the same pizza place when they get it wrong every time? Either that or didn't get a free pizza the first 20 times but keeps holding out hope? I'm sure there's lots more wrong here than just that. Oh, burn the pizza. Then we'll have to make another one for fucking sure. Great idea, boss. Let me know what you think in the comments if you want. Anyway, that's about all the time I have for you today. Thanks for watching, and thanks for being patient with me last week. If you're new here and enjoyed my content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Those things really help me out. I'd also like to thank Liars on the Internet, Reddit, my water bottle, vodka, and Abigail. Have a great day, or night, depending on how long this upload takes. Everyone?